This is the partially newly redesigned HP NV16. Now, the biggest thing that they've changed about this laptop is going to be, of course, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, as well as now having an RTX 4060 or an Intel 370M the Arc graphics. So there's a few different SKUs and models that you can get with this specific laptop. Now the pricing structure starts at about $1,349 and gets all the way up to about $2,684. Now this model does promote a 2.8K OLED display, but that's only gonna be on the most expensive SKU. So if you're buying this laptop, you want that really sharp, color accurate, bright display, you're gonna be getting the top tier model. Now, that's according to the SKUs available at different stores online. So if you go to HP's website, you might be able to configure it a little bit differently to your preferences. But if you're buying it, say, from Best Buy or Costco, you won't have the ability to customize, so just make sure you're getting what you want. I'll put links in the description below for the different places that you can buy the laptop, and so you can do all your research there. If you do make a purchase of any of those links, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Over the past few years, my my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening, actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. Now here is our charger block. We have a 200 watt charger block, which makes me believe that I have the RTX 4060 version of this laptop and not just the Intel Arc A370M. So that is what I am guessing, but of course I won't find out until I turn the thing on. Here is the laptop coming out of the box. This laptop always surprises me by the weight. It always is a little heavier than I expect it to be. Now I don't mind the extra weight because they use nice sturdy aluminum materials. So weight and thickness is coming up on the screen right now. And like I said, it's, it's surprisingly weighty because it is a fairly thin laptop. Let's do a little tap test to check kind of the See, good solid assembly there from this laptop. Yeah, that sounds really good. Now, this is basically the premium HP Omen. Now, some people may argue with that and say, you know, there's different features, and of course there is. This is the more the premium HP Omen that's pointed towards creators. With that 2.8K screen option, you're gonna be able to have high color gamut range and color accuracy. Now, one area that I wish they would open up the options for is being able to upgrade the GPU past that RTX 4060. Just from a 3D modeling and 6K and 8K video editing standpoint, that would help us get more ceiling for different creator tasks. But for Photoshop, for InDesign, Illustrator, the Adobe Creative Design Suite, and then for video editing in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, this laptop should be all that you need. But if you're gonna be you know, a heavy After Effects user or a heavy 3D modeling user, that's where I wish they had that bigger GPU upgrade. Now let's go ahead and check the assembly of the laptop. There's an interesting design choice that they made. They chose to go for like a rounded edge here on the front and then a sharp, almost a 90 degree turn on the back. So this does have a little bit of a catchy sharp edge, but it's nothing that'll cut you. I mean, I'm even hitting my hand on it now and it kind of hurts, not gonna lie, but it doesn't cut me. 
Uh, and then of course we come around the edge here and you can see they assembled the bottom cover into the side panel nicely. There's no catchy edges for the assembly, um, but just the design difference there, I just wanted to point that out. Now you've got a nice little touch here with the Envy writing on the back of the hinge. And this is a singular hinge spanning almost the entire bottom part of the screen. You see we have a nice large vent along the bottom cover and your speakers are actually gonna spit out towards you um, right here on the bottom. And I'm pretty sure there's speakers on the top of the keyboard deck. Let's go ahead and do a quick open and close test and then we'll check that out. So go ahead and get my fingers under there. It opens and closes easily with one hand, which is nice. Gonna spin this. The model I have before me has the i9 processor and the RTX 4060. So the next question I have is, is this 16 or 32 gigs of RAM? Because those are some different configurations that you can get with this laptop. Now what's interesting is there's a lot of space here for the trackpad. They've given us that standard HP size trackpad. I haven't seen a trackpad bigger than this on the Envy or the Omen. Now where I've seen a trackpad bigger is actually the Spectre, the 14 inch laptop that has a nice large trackpad. This one has a nice click to it. I'm gonna give you a quick sample of that so you can hear what that sounds like. Very satisfying click. I like the sound. No rattliness to the tap, so it's secured very nicely to the chassis. And then you see we have our upward facing speakers here. And the keyboard deck sits a little bit lower than the deck here back by the trackpad. Now the keyboard, it feels nice under my fingers. It's no different this year than it's been in years past. The biggest difference is going to be the 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, which is becoming the standard for laptop manufacturers. Everybody's moving this way. It just allows more breathing room for your design, for your video edits, for even just browsing the internet. It gives you a lot more screen real estate to work with. The widescreen uh, is turning to become annoying. I didn't realize how annoying it would be until I started to use more and more 16 by 10 aspect ratios. We have a nice glossy panel. As you can see, it reflects quite a bit. There's my light above and you can see it does reflect. So if you're somewhere outdoors or if you're somewhere where there's a lot, like a lot of lights or around you, you will see that reflection on the screen. So that's one thing if you maybe wanna get one of those screen protectors that's like a matte finish, that'll help with some of that reflection if you don't like that. Now there's a webcam on the top bezel and here's a quick sample of that so you can see what it looks like. This is the webcam on the HP Envy and a little sample of the audio for you as well. I forgot to go ahead and take a look at the ports. Let's go ahead and check out the left side panel. We have our USB type A nestled in one of these flip out switches, micro SD card reader and a headphone jack on the left side panel. And on the right side panel, we have two USB type C's, another USB type A, an HDMI port, and your power adapter. So a nice amount of connectivity. I wish that was an SD card reader. I will continue to say that over and over as more and more brands are going with micro instead of full size. And can somebody tell me why? Did, did, did like this conglomerate get together and say, the people are looking for micro SD card readers in all of the laptops because I was not invited to that meeting. I would have voted no. Now, one thing I also forgot was to check out the old screen flex here. This is a very, wow, it's kind of a bouncy screen. Whoa, a little bit on the bouncy side. Yep, all right, let's check out the screen flex though. A uh, very little screen flex. I mean, I'm really trying to push that and that's a really nice firm aluminum top cover, which holds the screen together very nicely, but that bounce is a little annoying, not gonna lie. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead, flip the laptop over, take out the bottom cover and check out the upgrade path. Of course, if you're curious about the performance of this laptop, I will have a full dedicated review as well as my experience at one week and one month later. So definitely subscribe or just at the end of this video, click or tap the screen. And if those are available, you can definitely check them out. So they pull the bottom cover off of the laptop, you reveal the 83 watt hour battery and your two upgradable RAM sticks, which is awesome. So there is an upgrade path of this laptop. They say you buy it with 16, you wanna upgrade it to 32 down the road, you have that option. I will say this little plate was a booger. It was kind of challenging to get off. So just be careful when you're pulling this plate off if you wanna make an upgrade. Now, we do have an occupied M.2 slot and an unoccupied M.2 slot. So you can upgrade this laptop storage, which is great as well. And then of course you can replace your Wi-Fi card if you so choose. So the upgrade path on this laptop is great. You've got SSD upgrade, 
and RAM upgrade for the HP NV16. Now, if you're ready to make a purchase of this laptop, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Of course, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. There's definitely a few options. If you're wanting that OLED display, don't forget that it's going to be that top tier price point or go to the hp.com link in the description and see if there's some customization that can take place. So maybe you don't have to get the i9, maybe you just want the i7 with 16 gigs of RAM, the RTX 4060 and that screen. If that option is available, check it out below. I'll know more once I do the full review so I can kind of report on that myself once we get there. Click or tap the screen here for more videos about the HP Omen or other laptops out in 2023. And I'll see you guys in the next video.